Shalom, shalom Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to give our praises and our glory to Yahweh. Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Kodash. The one to the elders and apostles of uh, James, Great Mistone. Shalom to you, brothers and always, by way of preaching, teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. This is the brother Shapal from James Jamaica Camp. With a quick lesson. You know, this lesson is based upon uh, an article, right? Let me see if I can get the article. Mm. Well, it's not an article more, uh, per se, it's a screenshot, right? <laughs> and it's laughable, you know, it says, A pastor from South Africa reportedly invited Jesus Christ from heaven to preach in his church. After service, some members of the church took picture with Jesus Christ before he returned to heaven. Now, though this is laughable, and I'm not here to convince everybody that Jesus Christ didn't come from heaven because it's, it's madness. The whole story is madness, you know. So I'm not here to defend that. What I'm here to basically do is to edify ones out there in 2023 who thinks that the Heavenly Father is a so-called white man. And it's very important that you people, or all people basically, know that the Son of the Heavenly Father is not Caucasian, is not white, with long string hair, right? It is written in the scripture. Right, that he is of the tribe of Judah, which Judah is a so-called Negro tribe, dark. The scripture said Judah mourned it. They say they have language, they are blackened to the ground. You know? And the Lord sprung out of the tribe of Judah according. We can get those scriptures afterwards. You know? But that's what we want to basically bring forward today. You know, not <laughs> Not this laughable madness, man, right? So let's just go into the lesson. Um, I have some, okay, yeah, okay, this is the one. This is Revelation 1, and we start verse 1. It's a, the revelation of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Now, the name is not Jesus Christ, right? It's Yahweh Shai, right? Yahweh Shai means he's the deliverer, or he delivers, right? And that's the Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, the son of the Heavenly Father, man, right? Now the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, which means he is, right? That's the name that was given to Moses, right? Now, this is Revelation 1 and verse 1, right? So John and the other Patmos get a vision, right, of how the son of the Heavenly Father look, right? He got the vision, and he wrote the vision down as seen, right? And if you read the scriptures and you believe in the scriptures, right? As these churches of the Bible, in their possession, reading from the same Bible, right? But then, this is what you see. Pictures like this, right? Reading from the same Bible, you know? But this is what the Bible says. Let's start a verse 1. It says, the revelation of Yahusha Yamashiach, right? Yamashiach go back to... Um, Christ, right, which means anointed, right, so Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, right, Jesus Christ for those um, people, for edification's sake, right, all right, um, the revelation of Yahweh Shai, Amashiach, which um, Yahweh gave unto, um, gave him to show to his servants the things must shortly come to pass. And he sent a sign, um, sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, right? Who bear what bear record of the word of God, right? Of the testimony of Yahweh Mashiach, right? And of all things he saw, saying, so he bear record. John bear records of the testimony, right? Of Yahweh Shai Mashiach and of all the things that he saw, which the Father Yahweh right, had revealed to the Son, to John. Right? Let's jump now to the point of verse. We'll start a verse. Um, we'll start a verse um, 12. Right? Like, because um, we deal with the Son, right? Verse 12. Revelation 1, verse 12. When I saw. And I turned to see the voice that speak with me, 
and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, right? Who's the Son of Man? Right? You guessed it, right? That is the Lord, Yahweh Shai, so called Jesus, right? Clothed with a garment down to the foot and gird about the pups with a golden girdle. His hair, his head and his hair were white like wool, right? As white as snow. And his eyes were as flame of fire, which the scripture rep referred to him as. Um, his, 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 his eyes should be uh, red with wine and his teeth white uh, with milk basically. You know, because the house share when he was here, he drank a lot of wine. You know, at one point they called him wine bibber. You know? Um, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they were burnt in a furnace. Right? And his voice as the voice of many waters, as the sound of many waters, right? Now, he said, and his feet like unto fine brass, right? As if they burnt in a furnace, right? When you look on brass, man, it's a, let me, I'm, I'm a tough fuck, let me just get some references. All right, so here I Google burnt brass. This is what come up, see? Burnt brass. And there you have a man with white woolly hair and burnt brass. Um, skin like unto burnt brass. Alright? I believe this is also um, Israelite information. Alright? But that's what burnt brass look like, man. That's it. It's a derivative of brown. It's not not this if anything it should be these darker individual right so the son of <laughs> the son of the heavenly father look more like these darker individual that you see here right and not whatever this is man you know just for edification purposes right okay cool so let's move on to the next scripture all right so this is uh daniel 7 and verse 1 and verse 9 it says and i beheld till the thrones were cast down and the ancients of days did sit who's the ancients of days yahweh that's the father right did sit whose garments was as white as snow and hair of his head like pure wool right his throne was like the fire furnace Right? And his wheels, right? Whereas burning fire. Alright? So the Lord Yahweh where Yahweh shy, you know what I mean? As hey, that's the image come down a while ago, man. They, they um subscribing to the brother's speech, you know. So that's it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, but it goes to show you that that you know there's no way in the scripture it, it, it supports that type of image that we see, all right? It doesn't support it, man. You know, um, let me get this. This is Galatians 1 and verse 8. It's about though we, though we are an angel of heaven, from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And this is Paul speaking, man, because the gospel that we preach is straight from the scripture. It's not from man but it's from the higher power man you know as i said john got the vision john didn't get up and write the things then what him think in my mind he, he had gotten visions man to write these things right see so the heavenly father i'll give you a description of how the son yahweh shall look right and if you preach anything else from that man then hey you are an antichrist, and we'll get into that also. <laughs> yeah. So, um, right. So, so is a letting be accursed, right? As we said before, so say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that which ye have received, let him be accursed. 
for I do now persuade men. For do I now persuade men or God, right? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ, right? So when we preach this gospel, man, we don't do it for please men. We're not men pleasers, man. You know, we come out and we preach this, this, this straight truth, you know, to our people, man. Whether you want to hear or forbear, we come and we preach whatsoever is written in the scripture. We don't change the doctrine just because we want to um, get followers, you know what I mean? Because that's what these churches are doing, man. 501c3, them sit down in church and preach what is suited for please men, for gain followers and, you know, not to offend the fucking, um, the, 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 the government, you know, and the big guys in, in, in society. See? But we don't do it, we, we please the how about shaman, how shaman. So we're going to come out, we're going to preach it exactly as it is. As John get the vision and write it down, that's what we're going to preach every single thing, man. As well, keep up that uh, spirit on us, man, all the way through to the end, right? To persecution and beyond. So, right, uh, verse 11. But I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after men, for neither, neither have I, neither, like, for I neither receive it of men. Neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Yahweh the Mashiach. See? And that's, that's, that's the right, that's straight to the point. All right, let me get two more scriptures. Um, this is, um, I just want to get a single point out of this car mentioned. Um, we mentioned Antichrist. So it says, Matthew 24, verse 23, If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is a Mashiach, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Right? So, this, um, these church members are, these people have a brain cell, man, because, look, it's, 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 I'm, I'm I'm still trying to wrap my head around this, you know. So, you know, <laughs> it's crazy, man. Because here you have it now, the same Bible, which we, we know Christian don't read the Bible, though, but it's ironic, man. The same book that you read out that tell you that, look, this is not, you know, it, and it shows you that people would rather subjected, you know what I mean, under bullshit, you know. People lazy for really research. Them, don't, them, them willingly take... Um, brainwashed, you know what I mean? People will because they they're so yearning, you know what I mean, for some sort of leadership or some sort of, you know. So them them willingly submit themselves to, to madness, man. We don't even really check in. You understand? So this is madness. So then, uh, when you go down verse twenty four, it says. For lo, there shall arise false Christ, right, and the false prophets, right, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much as, in so much that, if it were possible, right, they should deceive the very elect. And you know, even though this don't show many signs or anything like that, because it's stupid coming from heaven and then going back in heaven. That's it's crazy, but you know, it's pan up on a wider level, man. You know. He saw uh, and him, him, him technology, you know what I mean? You um, have, um, oh, so a squash shop protege, um, Horare, I forgot his name, man. Yuval Noah Horare, you know, speaking about, um, you know, he's not dealing with a God above the clouds, you know, but he's dealing with the Google Cloud, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, you know, the brain chip. That you know bypass um, spinal cord and you know you, you know that, that makes men you know capable of walk you know that was paralyzed you know what I mean and you know that 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 device that you gonna get implanted on their hands you know what I mean and you know all type of things that I man is gonna do you know 
in a form of miracles. You know what I mean? And you know, anti crisis mean against. Right? Anybody can be an anti. It's just it's not just one. You know. Um, and let me get this also. This is First John two one verse eighteen. It's a little children. It is the last time, um, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even now are there many Antichrists, right? Whereby we know that it is the last time, right? So there are many. As we, as we mentioned, um, Yuval Noah, Noah Orave, um, Carl Clash, all of these men, you know, they are Antichrist men. Everything that you know, it's far the more side them them really set it against. You know? So you know it, it's they're dear men, they're dear in plain sight man, the thousands, dozens of them man. You know, wicked society, even our people man, they're anti Amashiach. You know? The the um the past that will bring this this um this cave beast in our church. Uh, you know, take picture and whatever it may be, that's anti Amashiach, see me. He's an antichrist. Right? Because it goes against everything. You know, which anti just mean against, you know. Anybody can be antichrist. You know, want you to go against. Right? And this go against the image. Everything that we have read so far in the scripture, this image goes against it. Man. You know? So he's an antichrist and I even know that. Right, so let's just get the point out of this. So, who is a liar but he that denies that Yahweh is Christ? Right, um, he's an antichrist. So once you deny that the man who the scripture describes, the complexion, the, the texture here, and so forth, if you deny that he is not, then you're an antichrist. Right, um, it's also his lineage and everything else that goes with him. Man, right, um, that. Uh, he's an antichrist that denied the father and the son. Whosoever denied the son, the same art not the father. Right? But he that acknowledged the son art not art the father also. Right? This is verse 24. He said, Let that therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning. If that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you, ye also shall continue. Right? In the Son and in the Father, right? So it's all about continuing, you know what I mean, in, in knowledge, wisdom and understanding. You know what I mean? That that's just, just it, man. Because the Lord said he loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom, right? Knowledge and understanding also. See, so we're now go we're just here to edify the potential elect man. If you in two thousand and twenty three still think that the son of the heavenly father look like a white man, so-called white man, then <laughs> good luck, you know, good luck. Right, so with that one, let's give our praise and our glory to Yahweh, Bashi, Yahweh, Shai, Bashi, Mekar, Kodash. I will honest to the elders and apostles of the stone. Shalom to you, brothers and always, and by way, speech and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.